Do you remember the talented female rappers who changed hip hop? Yo, they want to know. Do you remember the talented rapper Raw Digger, a former member of the Flip Mode Squad? What about Emil and Vita? Ever wonder what happened to them? Would you like to know what happened? Let us dive in. When I move, you move. Uh, Shauna is remembered for her guest appearances in the 2003 single, Stand Up, which peaked in Billboard Hot 100 and her sexually explicit image and lyrics. She was born Roshana Guy on January 3rd, 1978, in Chicago, Illinois, to a family with a musical background. Her father was Buddy Guy, a blues singer. While the rapper had not been very active since 2006, she burst into the limelight last year when Keith Murray gave an interview on how he performed the nasty on her in graphic detail. One day we was at the House of Blues. Shauna was on the wall and she was on the wall and I had her like this. I was like, ah, 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 on the wall. Shauna made news when she was blocked from attending the BET Hip Hop Awards ceremony in Atlanta, 2014. She claimed it was her old label disturbing the peace head Shaka Zulu and Ludacris label, who blocked her from the red carpet and show, but they've since made up now. I started the fact that me and my team put together a real nice promo set up to go to Atlanta for the BET Hip Hop Awards, of course, and um, headed on down to Atlanta. About an hour outside of Atlanta, we get a call from my PR person that says, uh, we got a problem. So uh, by the time we got there and got to the hotel, Mike pulled me to the side and explained that the PR person had been contacted by BET personnel and had been instructed by a certain person from Disturbing the Peace, whether it was Shaka or Ludacris, to tell them to deny me access to the awards or the red carpets. Shauna is 46 years old and has a net worth of $2 million. Raw Digga is a cultural music ambassador for the U.S. government and has appeared in several music videos with Busta Rhymes. The video Touch It received multiple BET and MTV Music Video Award nominations. She is a talented actor and starred in several movies as well. Raw Digger was born Rashia Tayshawn Fisher in New Jersey on December 18, 1974. She studied electrical engineering at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. Did you know her first stage name was Harriet Thugman? She disappeared for almost 10 years when her label shelved her second album, Everything is a Story, in 2004. Since then, she has released her music independently through iTunes, SoundCloud, and Bandcamp. Raw Digger has a daughter named Sativa with Young Z, a former groupmate from Outsiders. It was not a planned thing, she says. Raw Digger is 49 years old and has a net worth of 500,000. Vita is multi-talented. She was the first female rapper signed to Irv Gotti's label Murder, Inc. in 2000. In 2014, Billboard included Vita in its list of the 31 female rappers who changed hip hop. Vita is known for her role as 16-year-old Kiana, Tommy Bundy's mistress in the 1998 crime drama, Belly. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, what's up? This she also appeared in songs such as Lap Dance by Nerd and Put It On Me by Ja Rule. LaVita Rayner was born in Plainfield, New Jersey on September 25, 1981. Her father was from Bermuda, which made her love warm climates. So what happened to the talented singer? Her fans were expecting a solo release, but her Justify My Love remake didn't work out well, as Madonna disapproved of Vita's rap. Her label Murder, Inc. shelved the album. The rest is history. Some say her career was affected by her mother Marie Rayner's death, but Vita says her label wanted to focus more on prominent stars like Ja Rule and Ashanti. Vita continues to work on her lingerie line. She is 43 years old and has a net worth of three million. I don't know if it's the pretty face or the expensive taste that got everybody. Charlie Baltimore began her rap career with a love note on a voicemail to her then boyfriend, Notorious B.I.G., or Biggie. He saw the potential in Charlie and convinced her to work on the talent. 
Charlie Baltimore was born Tiffany Lane on August 16, 1974, to a German father and an African-American mother. She met Biggie when he performed in her hometown Philadelphia in 1995. Charlie ended up in a love triangle as Biggie was already married to Faith Evans. Though Biggie claimed they were separated, Faith Evans got pregnant with Biggie's child while he was in a full-blown relationship with Charlie. Well, you can imagine how that went down with Charlie. Obviously, he still had feelings for her. He married her. But then he also wound up having a baby with her while, <laughs> you know, we were together. Charlie grew up in a rough neighborhood and got pregnant at 14. She raised her daughter as a teen mom, and it was challenging. She had to leave her strict Catholic school, and making matters worse, she was in a toxic relationship with the father of the baby she was carrying. He pushed me down a flight of steps when I was eight months pregnant. Charlie earned a Grammy Award nomination for Best Female Rap Solo Performance for her single, Diary. However, she parted ways with Murder, Inc. in 2004. Charlie Baltimore is 49 years old, and her net worth is $500,000. A Mill, or A Mill Kahala Whitehead, is a rapper and songwriter famous for her work with Jay-Z and membership in the hip-hop group Rockefeller Records. She was born in New York City on September 19, 1973, to a Caucasian mother and an African-American and partial Cherokee father. She had her son Poppy at 18 with then-boyfriend Kendall Morgan. The death of Kendall Morgan in a homicide turned her into music. Working with an all-female group, Major Coins, in 1997, she appeared in several songs by Jay-Z and Mariah Carey's releases. Emil faced low album sales, and her singles did not sell well either. Rockefeller's record label dropped her, but she continued to release songs up to 2014. And you I can't even get in touch with Jay no more. That was a rap. I had to go through his assistant, all this bullshit to get with Jay, so like that, I don't know. Was she romantically involved with Jay-Z? Emil denied rumors in an interview with Billboard. She said, he was like my brother. He had respect for my talent, but nothing more. Her son's deteriorating health with asthma also affected Emil's musical journey. She is 50 years old, and her net worth is assessed at $3 million. I love my nookie. Nookie, pay my bills. Jackie released her debut album, Po Little Rich Girl, in 2007, which entered the Billboard 200. While she continued to work with famous artists like Timbaland, Busta Rhymes, Ghostface Killer, and DJ Khaled, her second album, Lil Red Riding Hood, failed to chart. Jackie O was born Angela Brookins Gillespie on November 24, 1971, to an African-American mother and a Haitian African-American father. She grew up in Miami's Pork and Beans public housing complex with two sisters and two brothers. She had a difficult childhood, getting caught for stealing at a young age and dropping out of high school. As she grew, Jackie moved on to credit card fraud and stealing from stores to resell at half price. Her first mixtape, The Official Bootleg with Po' Boy Entertainment, sold over 470,000 copies. And her first single, Nookie, became a hit. But her success was not without personal cost. She told Hip Hop Weekly in 2008 that she had to have sex with a Po' Boy Entertainment executive to receive a $10,000 advance that they had previously promised for her work. Jackie O is 47 years old and has a net worth of $1.7 million. She is retired from her singing career to work as an ordained Christian minister. With a pop, yourself as the ride on top, close your eyes as you ride. Foxy Brown made history in 1999 when her album China Doll ranked number one on the Billboard 200. She was the first female rap artist to ever accomplish that feat. Foxy Brown is called Hip Hop Princess by the media. She is a huge commercial success and has sold over 13 million records worldwide. Foxy Brown was born Inga DiCarlo Fung Marchand on September 6, 1978. She grew up in Park Slope, Brooklyn with two older brothers. Her parents divorced when she was four. In 2000, Foxy Brown suffered from depression. She underwent drug rehabilitation treatment for addiction and needed medication to record or perform. She developed a hearing loss in May 2005. Foxy Brown opted for a hearing aid. While recording music, someone had to tap beats on her shoulder. 
She was the youngest rapper at 15. She had a good relationship with Jay-Z and Nas. Because I'm number one, I came in the youngest female rapper ever at 15. Mm -hmm. But I had support from Jay-Z, who is like a brother to me. Mm -hmm. And he already had his, you know, following and people respected him. Foxy Brown is 45 years old and has a net worth of $3 million. I'm representing for the missus. In 2010, Trina became the first female rapper to release a fifth studio album. She is the seventh most nominated female at the BET Awards. Trina was named in Billboard's 31 Female Rappers Who Changed Hip Hop. Trina was born Katrina Laverne Taylor in Miami, Florida on December 3rd, 1978. Her father is Dominican and her mother, Vanessa Taylor, is Bahamian. Her parents separated when Trina was a child. She was a real estate agent before she started singing. Her family had to face many tragedies, with her brother being shot dead and her mother passing away due to cancer. In 2022, Trina's niece was killed. Trina is 45 years old and has a net worth of $6 million. Lil Mo is a singer, songwriter, rapper, and radio personality. She is best known for her 2001 single, Superwoman Part 2, and has won multiple awards since 2002 for her work with Ja Rule and Sicario. Lil Mo was born Cynthia Karen Loving to a military family on November 19, 1975. Her father was Bishop Jacob D. Loving, and her mother was First Lady Cynthia Loving Sr. She grew up in Long Island, but moved frequently due to her father's military work. Did you know that she was assaulted? On June 22, 2001, Lil Mo was attacked at a San Francisco concert venue. She was hit in the head by a champagne bottle and received 20 stitches. She struggled with addiction and converted to Islam, though her parents brought her up in a Christian home. She is 48 years old, and her net worth is 450000 Lil' Kim released her debut studio album, Hardcore, in 1996, and it was certified double platinum in March 2001. The album sold more than 6 million copies worldwide. Hardcore had the highest debut in the U.S. for a female rap album then. In 2001, Lil' Kim reached number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 with the single Lady Marmalade. Lil' Kim was born Kimberly Denise Jones on July 11, 1974, in Brooklyn, New York City. She was the second child of Linwood Jones, a former U.S. Marine. Her parents separated when she was nine. Her father was strict and she was constantly fighting with him. She ran away from home at 14, started living on the streets, and dropped out of high school. As a teen, she dated Sean Powell, an abusive boyfriend. Lil' Kim admitted that Sean once choked her to unconsciousness. She left Sean while he was still in jail and was the notorious B.I.G.'s girlfriend at the time of his death. While recording her debut album, Lil' Kim got pregnant with notorious B.I.G.'s child, but decided to terminate the pregnancy. She ranked number 71 on VH1's 100 Sexiest Artists. Lil' Kim is 49 years old and her net worth is 500000 I know that you know that I know you don't want me to, but keep on tripping and I'm gonna give it to you. Debrat was the first female solo rapper to go platinum. Her debut studio album, Functified, released in 1994, sold one million units. Debrat was born Shante Harris Dupart on April 14, 1974, in Chicago, Illinois. She grew up in the city's west side. Her father, David Ray McCoy, was a businessman, while her mother, Nadine Brewer, drove a city bus. They were never married. Despite her success in the music industry, she often ran into trouble with anger issues. In 2000, DeBrat hit a woman with a gun over a dispute over seating in an Atlanta nightclub. Then, on October 31st, 2007, DeBrat was involved in a similar incident in another nightclub. She argued with a hostess and attacked her with a rum bottle. The waitress was rushed to the hospital. DeBrat was sentenced to three years in prison, and a civil trial jury awarded the assault victim $6.4 million to cover her injuries. DeBrat is 49 years old, and her net worth is $100,000. Baby, relax and start passing. Expressway, head back, we 
weaving through the traffic. Eve has ranked 46 on VH1's 50 Greatest Hip Hop Artists. She was the only female signed to the Rough Riders label, and her first three albums sold over 13 million copies worldwide. Would you believe she worked as a table dancer and a stripper before she started rapping? She later admitted that she was 18 and confused at the time. To make money to get out of my mother's house and start stripping. So I started stripping. I was a lazy stripper, though. Her debut studio album, Let There Be Eve, Rough Riders' First Lady, released in 1999, reached number one on the Billboard 200. It made her the third female rapper to accomplish this feat. The Recording Industry Association of America certified the album double platinum. Eve Jahan Cooper was born November 10, 1978, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She was the daughter of Julie Wilshire, a publishing company supervisor, and Jerry Jeffers, a chemical plant supervisor. Her parents separated when she was 12, and her mother and grandmother raised her. She is married to Maximilian Cooper and had her first child in 2022. Eve is 45 years old and has a net worth of 10 million. Did we miss anyone? Comment down below who you think needs to be on this list. Who is your favorite female rapper of all time?